A lot of people already use this method probably. But I wanted to share it with you just in case you don't. Hey guys. I thought I would try and use a computer generated voice for two reasons in this video. Number one my girlfriend is watching a film. Number two because some people say I'm not very clear. So, let's get into it. Today I wanted to talk about Google AdWords Ad Planner. It's actually a surprisingly powerful tool. Before we talk about this specific method I would just like to say that Google AdWords Planner is actually very good for checking keywords also. So not only does it give good suggestions, it's also a free and accurate way of measuring interest in a topic. So now let's get into the method. Just make an AdWords account. I'm not sure if you need to add a payment method, but I don't think you do. Even if you do you don't have to pay any money to use Google AdWords Planner to find keywords using this method. If you get stuck at any time just try and press the Google Ads button in the top left corner. Just go to Tools and then to Keyword Planner. Click Discover New Keywords. Click on your country and add some more countries. Focus on countries like United Kingdom, United States, Australia, Canada etc. Click on Start with a website. Type in redbubble.com. Make sure you add as many countries as possible. Then click add filter. And press keyword. Click semantic match. Type in something like decal. Or if you want to focus on more expensive categories this is also fine. The great thing about this method is that these numbers are accurate and there are a lot of suggestions. A lot of people already use this method probably. But I wanted to share it with you just in case you don't. Another good thing is that this method works with any website. Etsy, Zazzle, Amazon, all of them. All you need to do it work out a way to filter the results to give you exactly what you want. The more countries you add the better off you will be. As is always the case with various methods, you will have to look hard to find something good. This is mainly because a lot of people are already using this method. But I do believe there is some gold to be found. I also realized, while editing this video, that I didn't explain you can also put it on last month, by clicking here, and this is also a very accurate method of measure keyword accuracy. Something else I've noticed recently that you guys, might be interested in is, that Tetsi seems to have better CA4 shirts, while Redbubble has better SEO4 stickers. As you can see in this clip. Okay guys, I hope that was a clear video, and I'll see you very very soon in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.